all right we have arrived in the animation section which i personally like the most and overall animations are my little pony do you even say this in english because in poland if there's something a discipline you like and you feel like confident and strong about you can say that it's your horse it's your horsey i'm not sure that this is a thing in english but it doesn't matter i'd like to show you how animations work in powerpoint and perhaps those slides will be a little helpful with that because we will have something to animate animations in powerpoint can be found of course obviously on the animations pane i would say that animations and transitions are a little connected because a transition is the way that one slide fades to another slide so with some creative usage for example when we have one slide here and there's a line and then the line would continue on this slide we could creatively use the push animation and as you can see this push animation this push transition would like create a, a animation effect between those two slides but i'll go ev about everything step by step the main focus of this section will be on animation in order to animate anything in PowerPoint, you need to select it first. That's obvious because sometimes people wonder why can't I select those functions? Why cannot I do here like anything? Once I click on any object, and really I mean any object, you see those are highlighted. And I would like you to do the same. Open up PowerPoint, click on anything, and just play around for a few seconds. You can click on any type of animation and you can just preview how that would look like and later on i will of course show you some more advanced usage because like now we are only playing and, and clicking on a few and you can even use those pulse animations color pulse you could open up this this tab and see what happens here we will talk about types of animations of course you have position animations, you have normal fades, and also trigger animations, which can trigger while you click on something. In the next lecture, I would like to talk about the transitions, because I believe we should start with transitions and then explain everything about animations. Okay, see you in the next lecture. Click around for a few seconds here and we may continue.